welcome to the lecture on decision under uncertainty. So, we discussed about the situations when uh, you have the risk and uh, uh, the probabilities uh, related to the alternatives are you know or the you know options are provided. And in those cases we have uh, you know got certain methods, we have studied certain methods that how to you know use those probability values and uh, come to a conclusion to have you know uh, the knowledge about the best alternative uh, which should be selected uh, or uh, you know uh, related cases like based on the expected value or the most probable values or the uh, based on variance. Uh, so, all these things uh, we have discussed. However, uh, many a times these uh, probability values are not given and there are many situations like it may be impossible to uh, assign the probabilities to several futures identified for a given decision situation. So, uh, uh, in our one of the you know example which we discussed, we saw that uh, uh, for the three futures uh, you had the probability uh, given. Uh, you know that uh, you know in, in that case uh, the firm uh, could have got C 1 or C 2 or both C 1 and C 2 and for that the contract uh, you know uh, the probability was uh, 0 uh, 0.2, 0.3 and 0.5. So, like that, but many a times uh, no meaningful data are available from which probabilities may be developed. So, uh, these are uh, very much situations uh, which are practically you know uh, relevant that the meaningful uh, data uh, you know are not available and uh, so the probabilities uh, cannot be found out. Now, in many cases the decision maker is unwilling to assign subjective probability uh, because uh, he, he you know he feels that uh, whatever uh, you know future outcome it will be shown because of the uh, respective probabilities to the different components uh, that will not be you know uh, welcome uh, I mean for him he will not feel good that way. So, it will be unpleasant you know uh, outcome for him. So, he does not uh, in fact uh, want to uh, you know assign these uh, subjective probabilities in those cases. So, the probability is not known I mean uh, in that sense. Now, when these uh, probabilities are not available for uh, these uh, assignment to you know future uh, events. Uh, so, when they are event these are probabilities are even, uh, you know available then that is decision under risk and uh, you use those probability values. But when uh, these probability values are uh, not known in that case uh, we have to still come to certain decision. And in that case the situation uh, uh, you know is classified as the decision making under uncertainty. So, that is how you will have uh, you will have few you know, ways by which under these cases of uncertainty when the probability values are not given uh, you can come uh, take certain decisions and that is known as the decision making under uncertainty. So, uh, there are a few rules and uh, these rules are like you have Laplace criterion, you have maxim min and maxim max criterion, you have the regret you know criterion like that uh, you have Hurwitz criterion. So, that we will discuss in this case uh, in this lecture and we will know that what these criteria mean. So, uh, coming to the first criteria that is your uh, Laplace criteria. And uh, this criteria you know it, it tells that in the absence of probabilities uh, each possible state of nature is assumed to occur as any other. So, uh, whatever alternatives we have whatever options we have or whatever futures you have uh, you feel that uh, um, uh, they all have the equal you know uh, possibilities to occur. And, uh, and uh, that is why they have equal probabilities. The rationale of this assumption is that uh, there is no stated basis for one state uh, of nature to be more likely than others. So, they are basically derived from uh, some of the features of nature because nature does not favor anyone, uh, it is equal for everyone. So, that way it assumes that uh, uh, there will be equal probability uh, you know uh, for everything. 
for uh, every alternative or for every you know uh, choice. So, this is called the Laplace principle or the principle of insufficient reason based on the philosophy that nature is assumed to be indifferent. So, that is the you know Laplace principle which tells that nature is assumed to be I mean which is based on this assumption that nature is assumed to be indifferent. Now, in this case uh, when uh, you have uh, you know n number of uh, possible states you know uh, if you have uh, um, possible future states equal to n in that case uh, every uh, future state has the probability of 1 by n. So, that altogether uh, 1 by n uh, you know into n that becomes 1. So, on that basis basically uh, we select uh, you know we, we take those uh, uh, you know futures uh, we judge uh, according to that. So, uh, you can say that uh, now we try to basically we will try to uh, analyze uh, based on uh, the this Laplace uh, criterion and uh, in that uh, we are going to further discuss about the situation which we discussed for the decision under risk in which uh, the contractor may be uh, awarded either contract C 1 or C 2 or C 1 and C 2. So, uh, we had uh, that value. So, we had uh, the C 1 or C 2 or C 1 and C 2 both and they had the probabilities of uh, C 1 had uh, for the award getting awarded C 1 is 0 0.3 for C 2 it was 0 0.2 and this was basically uh, for uh, C 1 and C 2 it was 0 0.5. So, that was the, uh, the probability values and also uh, if the work uh, any contractor had he, uh, he got then there are uh, 5 ways to do that as well as alternatives. So, that will be alternative A 1, A 2, A 3 and A 4 and A 5. So, you know, we knew about uh, you know uh, these uh, uh, problems and we know that uh, for them uh, we had the uh, profit matrix was there. So, how the profit in thousands of uh, rupees will be varying if uh, the C 1 is contract is awarded. So, with alternate uh, you know A 1 it will be uh, 100 and then uh, uh, this with A 2 it will be uh, minus 200. So, that will be loss then you have uh, 0, 100 and minus 400. So, that way you had uh, uh, this was the uh, you know uh, uh, the values uh, in that uh, problem. Similarly, for C 2 it was 100, uh, 150, then uh, 200, 300 and 100. So, these were the thousands of uh, you know. So, that much uh, thousands of uh, rupees was the profit and uh, for the C 1 and C 2 if awarded this will be 400, 600, 500, 200 and 200. Now, uh, this was uh, you know in the earlier case when you had these probabilities awarded, but now when we talk about uh, the cases under uncertainty then this value is not given. So, we do not know uh, this value and we have uh, uh, to use the different criterion uh, you know uh, and uh, then we have to come and, and choose the best alternative. Uh, you know which should be uh, uh, taken. So, uh, using the Laplace criterion what we do is that uh, uh, we have uh, to you know, find uh, the uh, you know we have to find the uh, profit average profit for all A 1, A 2, A 3, A 4 and A 5 and we assume that uh, their probabilities as for C 1, C 2 or C 1 and C 2 they are all same. So, if you take the you know alternative. So, uh, you, you come to the you know uh, if you take the Laplace uh, you know criteria. So, in that case uh, Laplace criterion. So, in that case if you take for A 1 then uh, you have to take 100 plus 100 plus 400 and each one has the equal probability. So, it will be uh, 100 plus 100 plus 400 and divided by 3. So, it will be 200. Similarly, uh, you can calculate for A 2, for A 2 it will be uh, you know uh, minus 200 plus 150 plus 600. So, it will be 750 minus 200 550. So, minus of uh, 
550. So, this will be plus of uh, 550. So, for A2 it will be uh, minus 200 and uh, then uh, you have plus 150 plus 600. So, this one uh, and divided by 3. So, it will be 550 by 3. So, it will be 183.3. Similarly, for A3 if you look at uh, for A3 it will be uh, 0 plus 200 plus 500 700 by 3. So, 700 by 3 will be 233.3. So, it will be uh, 233.3. Similarly, A4 for A4 uh, you know uh, we will be uh, getting uh, the 100, 300 and 200 325 plus 1 600 by uh, 3. So, it will be uh, 200. And anyway, now uh, we had uh, uh, struck off the A5 because of the dominance criteria. So, that is anyway not coming into picture. So, the thing is that uh, if you use that uh, Laplace criterion in that case uh, uh, we are going to uh, you know give the equal probability to the all the futures and then if you choose among the alternatives then by uh, deciding about them you see that this alternative A3 a3 is uh, the is proved to be uh, the best if because it gives you the maximum profit so if you choose alternative a3 then this is giving you the maximum profit and with laplace criteria you have to uh, say that uh, uh, the a3 alternative should be uh, chosen uh, now we will move to the uh, next criteria the next criteria will be uh, the maximin and maximax criteria. So, maximin rule is based on uh, extremely pessimistic uh, view of the outcome of the nature based on the judgment that nature will do its worst. So, basically there are two criteria one is maximin and maximax. Maximin is based on extremely pessimistic and maximax is based on extremist, uh, extremely optimistic view. So, one assumes that nature will do its worst and another assumes that nature will do its best. So, uh, in that case uh, what we do is that uh, in the case of maximin criteria uh, where it is uh, expected that nature will do its worst in that the application of the rule requires that the minimum value in each row is selected. So, for every alternative you are going to choose the minimum value and then among those minimum value the maximum value is identified from those. So, from those minimum values and associated with the alternative that would produce it. So, that way uh, uh, the, the maximum uh, of those minimum values you know in that case. Uh, will be chosen that alternative will be chosen. Similarly, uh, the maximax rule is based on extremely optimistic view and uh, it will be justified uh, if it is judged that uh, this rule is justified based on the judgment that nature does its best. So, it has uh, you know it will choose the alternative that shows the best possible outcome and uh, for that what you do is uh, uh, you are choosing the in that case the maximum value in each row and then among them the maximum. So, that is your uh, maximax rule. So, uh, if you try to analyze the, the maximin and maximin and maximax rule. So, this is criteria basically you can say. Now, uh, if you take the uh, if you try to interpret uh, you know the, the maximin or the minimax criteria you can have the definition for suppose the in the case of maximin what you do is uh, uh, you, you take that uh, uh, you do the competition I mean computation and you take the maximum value for among the uh, for the jth state of nature. So, first of all you will get the minimum uh, value of uh, E i j uh, for the j state of nature and among them you will be finding the maximum value uh, you know. So, uh, so that way you know this is for the ith alternative and, and this is uh, the uh, jth state of nature. So, for that uh, you will be getting first the minimum value 
and then uh, you are going getting the maximum out of it. Similarly, if you have to find the, for the uh, maxi max, so for maxi max, for maxi max, it will be done like this that you will have maximum value, uh, and and that too for uh, the maximum of uh, for you know e i j. So so this way you uh, try to have the maximum and minimax values. Now, if you try to see the you know values in the uh, you know in this uh, matrix, what you see that for alternative A1, the uh, if you take the maximin value, then using maximin the minimum is 100. Similarly, for A2 the minimum is uh, minus 200, for A3 it is 0, and for A4 it is uh, you know uh, 100. So, that is your minimax. So, uh, I mean minimum values. So, uh, you using the uh, you know the uh, maximin uh, you know. So, for maximin if you uh, see for uh, a 1 uh, you know if it is alternative and this is the minimum you know of uh, E i j. So, uh, in that case uh, what we will be getting you will be getting for a 1 it is 100 for A2 what we have uh, uh, just seen for A1 it is uh, 100 then y minus 200 0 and 100. So, A100 uh, minus 200 and A3 is uh, 0 and A4 is 100 and among them uh, you have to get the uh, maximum uh, of the values. And, uh, the maximum value is uh, a 1 as well as a 4. So, a 1 and a 4 you know uh, are basically the alternative uh, they are basically uh, taken or preferred using the uh, maximum you know uh, uh, maximum conditions. Now, if you take the uh, minimax condition now in the case of minimax uh, what you have I mean not minimax it is basically maximax. Now, in the case of maximax if you will uh, take a 1, a 2, a 3 and a 4. Now, in the case of uh, maximax we know that uh, it will be uh, 400, 600, 500 and 300. So, uh, it will be 400, 600, 500 and 300 and in that case you get the a 2 as the uh, maximum value of the uh, maximum. So, it is, it is uh, more optimistic and uh, you know uh, we uh, say that uh, uh, this uh, among the optimist it is too optimistic and uh, we are taking the maximum of that uh, you know uh, outcome that is 600. So, a 2 a 2 will be you know taken as the criteria uh, you know that will be the decision uh, which will be taken under this uh, criteria. So, uh, the profit of uh, 600,000 you know uh, that is. So, basically it is fine, but what you see that in that case uh, you, you are likely to have even the loss of minus uh, 200. So, that is certainly the risk is there, but if you it, it is taking that that it has to get the maximum profit. So, that way 600 is. So, alternative A 2 is uh, chosen. So, that is your maximax uh, criteria. Then comes uh, the Hurwitz uh, you know criteria. Now, what is Hurwitz criteria? So, that is uh, uh, so this is maximum. Now, uh, what we see that uh, um, uh, in the case of maximin or uh, maximax you have uh, been taking the extreme decisions and uh, then you are choosing the alternative. Now, many a times these extreme decision rules are not well adopted by the decision makers. So, what they you know they uh, adopt a degree of optimism or pessimism somewhere between the extremes if you are uh, uh, you are completely you know pessimistic then it is degree of optimism is 0 and if you are very very optimistic then the degree of optimism is 1. But then uh, there has to be you know uh, something in between. So, the which criteria gives one parameter uh, that is degree of optimism or so or degree of pessimism you can say. Now, in this case uh, we uh, call it that as index of optimism that is alpha and uh, that basically uh, talks. So, when it is 0 it will be the you know, 
uh, you know uh, extremely uh, you know extremely towards the side of pessimism and if it is one it will be towards the side of optimism. So, Hurwitz uh, rule is an uh, approach uh, to decision making uh, by making uh, you know uh, this uh, decision making. Uh, now, in this case uh, we make the decision uh, under understand t by using this index of relative uh, optimism and decision uh, and pessimism, pessimism and that alpha is uh, this value is used how to uh, use that. So, uh, that can be understood. Now, let us say that uh, we got uh, this we have got this uh, a 1 a 2 a 3 and a 4 and uh, we know that uh, by the uh, you know uh, by pessimistic uh, way you are getting certain values and by optimistic way uh, by extreme optimism you are getting some uh, outcome and by extreme uh, pessimism you are getting certain uh, outcome. So, like uh, for uh, suppose uh, uh, if you be a, if you are extremely pessimist in that I mean your uh, area is of pessimism in that case a 1, a 2, a 3 and a 4 will be like uh, what we see have seen the minimum of the values that is 100 minus 200, 0 and 100. And uh, if you are completely optimism in that case you are go going for this maxi max criteria that is your uh, 400, 600, 500 and 300. Now, if you take that uh, you know uh, degree of uh, optimism or index of optimism that is uh, alpha. So, it is called as Hurwitz criterion. So, in that uh, case you take index of optimism is uh, chosen and this is taken as alpha and its value is between 0 to 1. So, with 0 it will be uh, completely extremely you know uh, pessimism is there uh, extreme pessimism and, and uh, towards the right uh, you are uh, completely optimal you have um, you know extreme optimism. So, uh, using this uh, what we do is we are uh, uh, getting uh, you know uh, uh, using the alpha we are uh, having the criterion that we will be doing maximization of you know alpha uh, into uh, you know maximize uh, uh, j and then uh, e i j and uh, uh, then uh, plus uh, 1 minus alpha into uh, you know minimum of uh, e i j. So, uh, that will be there and uh, it will be uh, all uh, you know. So, this will be from here it will be going like uh, this. So, alpha into uh, you know maximum in uh, e i j maximum of e i j plus 1 minus alpha into minimum of e i j and then you will be uh, doing the maximum of uh, uh, that value that is your Hurwitz criterion. So, uh, if you take the uh, different alternatives in that case uh, how it comes uh, you know for other different alternatives if you take alternatives like uh, uh, you know a 1, a 2, a 3 and a 4. Now, for that uh, what you we know that if alpha is uh, so uh, for alpha suppose we take as 0 0.2. So, in that case what we do is uh, we are getting first the uh, value of alpha into maximum of uh, e i j and then uh, plus 1 minus alpha into uh, minimum of uh, you know e i j. So, that is what uh, we are calculating. So, we will be calculating alpha as 0 0.2 and this is the uh, index of optimism. So, we are taking the maximum value. So, in the first alternative the maximum value was 400 and 1 minus alpha will become uh, 0 0.8 and the minimum value which was there was 100. So, it will be 100. So, uh, this value will be 80 and this will be also 80. So, it will be you know, 160. Similarly, if you take for A 2 it was uh, minimum was minus 200 and maximum was 600. So, we will be getting 0 0.2 into 600 and plus 0 0.8 into minus 200. So, uh, it will be 120 
and it will be uh, basically uh, you know uh, 160. So, 120 minus 160, so it will be minus 40. Then uh, you are uh, getting the A3, for A3 the minimum is 0 and maximum is uh, 500. So, it will be 0 0.2 into 500 plus 0 0.8 into 0. So, it will be uh, 100 and then for A4 the minimum was 100 and maximum was 300. So, it will be 0 0.2 into 300 plus 0 0.8 into 100. So, uh, it becomes uh, equal to 100 into 0 0.8, so 80 and plus 60, so it will be becoming 140. So, uh, what you see uh, that uh, the value of uh, these uh, you know expected values which we calculate, uh, it is going to be maximum for A1 and using the Hurwitz criterion, we can go for uh, the value 160 that is alternative A1. Uh, if you are taking the index of uh, optimism as 0 0.2, if you take the index of uh, optimism, the different values, uh, in that case uh, these uh, decisions may be changing and uh, even that uh, can be you know uh, seen by the graph. So, you can uh, even plot a graph and you can see that uh, suppose on, on one side you will have the values in this side and, and on the on the x axis. So, you can have the plot and uh, if suppose this is 0 and you have positive here 200, 400, 600 and you have uh, minus 200. Similarly, you have uh, minus 200 and uh, 400, 200, 400, 600 and uh, this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1. So, this is index of uh, you know optimism and for a1 to A4 you can have the you know line. So, suppose for A1 it is you know minimum value is on, on this side. So, in on this side it will be minimum is 100 and this side is 400. So, 100 to 400. Similarly, for the second one it is minus 200 to 600. So, it will be minus 200 through 600. So, like that. So, basically this line will talk about uh, these uh, you know which criteria to be taken. So, this will be talking about those values and uh, it will you can calculate from here you will see that it is minus negative 40 and in this side it will be coming as 160 something like here. So, uh, this way this line also can be you know tell you that where these these points are lying and based on that if you take the degree of optimism quite higher side. So, you will see that this will be coming in that case. So, if you take the, the higher value of uh, uh, this suppose you take 0 0.8 in that case it will be 480 and this will be 2. So, it will be quite high. So, that is what it is taken uh, using this graph. So, this graph also helps you understand that how the degree of optimism can be you know effective in uh, telling you which alternative should be chosen. The next criteria is uh, the minimax regret criterion. Now, uh, what is regret? Basically, the regret is the difference between the payoff that uh, could have been achieved with perfect knowledge of future and payoff actually received from alternative chosen. So, basically, uh, you know, uh, every time there may be a sense of regret if somebody has got uh, uh, some alternative, some outcome, he may always have the regret that he could have got the best one. So, there is always uh, a regret, and based on that, there is a rule which tells that a decision maker a decision maker wishes to avoid any regret or at least to minimize the maximum regret resulting from a decision. So, that is what he feels to have and application of the regret rule requires the formulation of regret matrix by identifying the maximum profit of each step. So, basically you are going to have a regret matrix and for that you are identifying the maximum profit for each state and then each entry in the column is subtracted from the uh, maximum profit uh, you know that is uh, obtained. So, so that way uh, you are uh, going to have uh, you know these uh, you know, values. So, uh, you are obtaining one regret matrix and uh, if you uh, take uh, the you know if you choose if you look at uh, uh, the uh, matrix which we have uh, seen here. Now, uh, what we see that uh, 
uh, for uh, you know uh, for any matrix if you if you look at uh, here now in this case this uh, the every future uh, you have to find this regret matrix and uh, what you have to do is that uh, you have to see that what is the maximum profit and that has to be you know subtracted basically so uh, i mean uh, from that you have to see the you know amount of regret uh, for that so in this case uh, you know the maximum profit is 100 so you have to subtract you know uh, so for, for this it will regret will be 0 whereas for a2 the regret will be uh, 300 for a3 regret will be 100 and for a4 it will be uh, 0 so that way we uh, you know calculate the regret matrix so for a1 uh, you know uh, for alternative a1 and for c1 future the regret values will be 0 300 100 and 0 Similarly, for uh, uh, the C2, the for, for future 2, you have uh, maximum profit is 300. So, for 300, the regret is 0, whereas for others, the regret is 200, 150, and 100. Similarly, for uh, uh, the C1 and C2, uh, you will have the regret of 0 if you get A2, otherwise, you have regret of 200, 100, and 400 for A4. And then uh, you are going to have the maximum value of. Uh, these regrets, uh, you know, uh, uh, for the alternative. Uh, so, that way uh, and then among them you are going to have the uh, minimization. So, what you do is uh, in this case, uh, uh, you first of all you calculate. So, this will be uh, minimax regret criterion and you in this as you as you said that it will be first uh, maximizing that uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, this uh, regret and then among them you will be taking the minimum so for that first of all you find the uh, regret uh, values and as we discussed that for alternative uh, a1 and for c1 c2 and c1 and c2 we found the regret matrix and that was uh, 0 200 and 200 Similarly, uh, this was 300, 150 and 0 and this was 100, 100, 100 and it was uh, 0, 0 and 400. Now, in that what you do is uh, you are getting the, so this is uh, you are getting the minimum of the uh, maximum uh, you know uh, regret. Now, for the, this the maximum regret if you look at, so if you see for alternative uh, you know A1, A2, A3 and A4 the maximum regret that is r you know ij that is for maximum j it will be for maximum will be 200 it will be 300 it will be 100 and it will be 400 now now what you do is uh, you are doing the minimum of this uh, maximized uh, regret values and in that case the minimum value is 100 so uh, so so you are taking this uh, a3 as the uh, so basically you are telling uh, taking minimum you know of uh, uh, maximum of the regret uh, you know rij so so this uh, this value coming out to be comes out to be for the alternative a3 and in that case uh, you have the chance of minimum regret uh, you know in, in such situations so many a times people need to uh, you know they are very much you know uh, st they have a strong aversion to criticism, so for them this type of uh, criterions are suited. So, these are the different criteria uh, uh, in the case of uncertainty and in fact what we do is we, we then it is left upon us to decide which alternative should be taken and for that what we do is we summarize all these uh, criterions and then based on that we decide which al are the alternatives by most of the criteria. Uh, it is uh, said to be the good one. So, in that case we take that alternative uh, for the decision making. So, that is the uh, cases for the decision making under uncertainty. Thank you very much.